Okay, everybody, as you can see, we've got this pile of junk stripped down to this bare essence. Now it's time to start the imagineering process. What do we think it can become? What should it look like when we're done? Well, my plan is still basically a rat survivor. Let's set the fuel tank back in place. It's probably going to stay just like this, or if it does, change it all. It'll become flat black from a rattle can with no preparation. I don't really like fake patina. I like the real thing. I know a lot of people are not fans of yours. It's my bike. I don't care. Let's see what the clip-ons will look like on it. I may eventually lower the front end of the bike and put them on top of the triple clamp. But for now, this will do. Like I said, it's all started with gifts. This motorcycle was a gift. These handle, these clip-ons were a gift. I did have to buy the tubes to go in them. I have to thank to my buddies, Cracky and Toby, for this bike and the parts on it. Toby for the clip-ons, Cracky for the bike and the seat. It'll definitely require some custom cables. That's not a big deal. I know where to get those. There we go, it looks a little more business-like already. Let me throw a leg over it to see if I can swing these handlebars all the way without hitting the tank. And I can. So let me tighten this one down just a tiny bit more. Not very comfortable sitting on that frame with all those bolts and tabs and brackets sticking up. This next part is what got the whole rat cafe idea started with this seat. It's not going to work exactly right with the stock frame. So I'm going to cut the rear hoop off. Don't crap your ass, this is a rusty file. It ain't worth saving. That looks better already. Just got to lay that seat down so it'll be in a straight line with the bottom of the gas tank. Take a couple of other things off here while we're at it. We won't need these seat hinges anymore.
I'll go one more part for the garbage. I'll get this lock off another time. But first, let's go ahead and lop off the part that is really in the way of our seat. side so I can get my cut lined up right. Well that's a good little trim. Looks a little naked back there. Now let's see if the seat will sit down on it. Yeah, that looks better. It's, it's in a nice straight line. I have to make a hoop for it, do some other modifications. I need to cut that seat lock off. But that's going to be a little more intricate and careful operation than I really have time for in this video because I want to make sure that I don't damage the frame tube between the shock absorber and the rest of the frame. But it certainly does improve the appearance of it. Let's see what it looks like with a side cover hanging on it. I know a lot of people doing this style of bike like to leave the side covers off. But I love the side covers on these. I may cut some holes in it and put some screen in it for effect. It just gives me another area of the bike to play with. Like I said, probably the next thing to do would be to wire it up enough to see if the engine will actually start. But that might be a couple months down the road. I really did promise my wife did I would finish the CL72 before I started on anything else. And she's a wonderful woman and I ought to listen to her more often. But I just had to see what this one would look. It's been in my head all this time to build a cafe racer. And I really wanted to build it out of one of these old twin cylinders and not out of that single. So this has been a really cool afternoon for me. Just seeing what it would look like. If you want, you can leave a comment, like, or subscribe to my videos, my channel. Like I said, it might be a few months before we see this one again. But I wanted to get a look at it. Let me grab the camera here and do a quick walk around now. Like I said, there's still a lot of work to do up front. I got two or three headlight options I hadn't decided on yet. I've decided I'm definitely running with the side covers. Time I have to go in there and fabricate an electronic tray and all that. It'll take so much work and I'll be scraped so much of the rust off the frame and cleaned it up so much that it won't hardly be worth it. I have to get some rear set pegs and install them or fabricate some. I may just fabricate some. But overall, I really like the effect 
The exhaust pipes are going to stay as stubs. Basically, once I get the foot pegs located, I'll add a short piece of pipe just to get the exhaust behind my feet. And that's it. I might stick a baffle in it. I don't know. But that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I'm thinking of doing in another one of my projects. So in the meantime, keep riding, keep wrenching, stay crazy.